Xiaomi phones delivers great hardware uh, on a very cheap prices. We all can agree on that. But when it comes to their software, which is called My UI, um, there are some variations. The China uh, versions get uh, quicker updates, could have more features, then some other region could have other features, and all that. Now, for some who may not like it, might even go to have a custom ROM, custom kernel that is in abundance among Xiaomi. But to take full control of the software in Android, you have to have Unlock Bootloader. Now, yes, it is official. You can go to my UI website and they will show you how to unlock your phone to do whatever you want. Of course, there's a warning that you have less security, but then how can you do that? Well, in the website, it's written in three simple steps. Add your account to My UI. Download the My UI unlocking tool. Connect your phone to PC. That sounds simple, right? But let me share with you five reasons why a bootloader unlock on Xiaomi phones could fail. If you're ready, let's get started. Hey, welcome back again to Smart Deport. And having shared with you a little about the benefits of unlocking bootloader in Xiaomi phones and the range of things you can do with it, let's talk about quickly how to unlock it. If you go to the website now, the instructions are very, very simple. Now, I say download the My Unlock app to your PC and sign in with your My account. Shut down the phone manually and use the volume button to turn it on to fast boot mode and then connect your phone to PC with a USB cable and click unlock. Now, that seems <laughs> very, very simple, but many people have experienced inability to do this, and I'm gonna share with you five reasons. Number one, the My, my Unlocking tool. Now, many people who don't know that if you're downloading the My Unlock app, you have to download the latest version. If for any reason you download a version that is not the latest version, your phone might have issues with unlocking. Now, I'm gonna show you how it looks. This is how the latest version looks. Uh, but this is how the older versions look uh, because uh, you have to check that out. So that's number one. Now number two. Number two is uh, the USB cable we're talking about here. Now um, I did an experiment here and I tried to use um, third-party USB cable that I used to charge um, my phone uh, in the car and then it didn't work. I mean, <laughs> that's strange because I could use the same cable to connect to the PC, transfer files and do other thing. But when it came to my unlock app and unlocking the app from fast boot mode, it didn't even, there's no signal, the computer didn't accept it. But then I tried another uh, cable, which is not the stock cable. And then I used the one from, from uh, Realme and then I tried it to work. So um, why some cable may work or may not work, your best bet is to stick with the cable that came with the phone. So that's number two. Then let's go into number three. If you watched up to this point, a sub to the channel will be liberating. So please click on that subscribe button and turn the notification bell icon to get notified when we do videos like this. I've also done tons of videos for my UI and Xiaomi phones. You can uh, click in the cast now or look in the description to watch that. Next, let's talk about my account. Now, you're going to need to sign up for my account and then sign it into your phone. But the problem here is that do not use email to sign up for your my account. You have to use a phone number, an active phone number, because I'm going to explain that in, in a moment. Now, there is also a my unlock app in your phone in the developer option. So if you go to this my unlock app, it's going to be used to unlock your phone. So now here are the things that your my unlock app will require. Your my unlock app will need access to your my account, a CPU ID, IMEI, IM SI and that is your network uh, to normally work. <laughs> of course, we collect, use and process your data in accordance with your yeah, data privacy policy. So what it means here is that if you do not have uh, a SIM card uh, that is registered to your My account, you will have issues. So you can even see it here, insert a SIM card that is working ton of Wi-Fi. I mean, you should have been able to do that with Wi-Fi, not mobile data. But yeah, that's the part that nobody told you about. So you have to make sure that you now uh, click your unlock status and make sure your device is now successfully, your My Account is associated with the device, a My Account that has a phone number. So that's very, very important. 
Oh, and before I forget, you have to go to your settings, uh, about phone, go to my UI version and tap it seven times before you can have access to developer option. So when you go to developer option, when it's activated, go back to settings, additional settings and go into developer option and scroll down uh, and turn on OEM unlocking. It will require you to also put in your password to be able to do that. So once you turn on OEM unlocking, then you are good to go. Okay, finally, if for any reason you turn on or turn off my UI optimization in developer uh, settings option, you have to also rebind your account again and, and have to go through the process of turning on OEM unlocking because it will turn off. The same thing will also happen if you um, <laughs> update an OTA after you have set the settings, you still have to you know, turn on uh, OEM unlocking again and also uh, add in binding your account again to the device. I don't know why they do that, but <laughs> I had to find out the hard way. So that's it for now. Let me know if you have any challenges trying to unlock your bootloader in the comment section. Please do like this video and share so that many other people can see it and watch. And until I see you in the next video, of course, I will do a video about the whole unlocking process with my Poco F3. Until I see you in that video. Yeah. Oh, did I mention about waiting time? Of course, you have to wait a lot of hours to unlock your Xiaomi phone. Yeah. But until I see you in the next video, <laughs> peace. Subscribe. I see you.